Tucked away beside the Lanibos parking lot is Sustainable SRJC, a recycling program run by Guy Tellerson. The waste diversion technician position was brought forward by a sustainability committee who wanted to make sure that we're recycling everything that we can. So as part of my weekly routine, um, the student, uh, student workers and I go to all the buildings and take out all the paper and cardboard from each of the departments and then we empty all the recycling bins in the classrooms and the public areas um, so we can get to the whole Santa Rosa campus. Sustainable SRJC seeks to improve students' recycling habits through improved signage and demonstrations. Recycling can be very confusing, uh, even, for, even for us who work here. Tellerson explained that over 50 billion coffee cups are thrown away each year in the United States. At SRJC alone, that number is nearly 7,000 cups each day. Putting these things out in bulk, the feedback I'm getting is people are surprised how many end up in the waste stream because they don't see the waste that goes out of the school um, the way we do who work here in waste diversion. So, you know, we use a cup along the course of our day, maybe a bottle, a bag, goes in the garbage. It doesn't seem like a lot, but since we have nearly 20,000 people coming through, Tellerson patrols the SRJC campus in his F-150, sorting through trash cans, rescuing, recycling, and compost from the landfill. The little things are the most important things because habits are things that are done daily or twice daily. Um, the most common uh, step that students and staff are taking is to stop using one-use water and hot beverage containers. So we have a campaign called Carry Your Cup also known as refills, not landfills. So people all have a refill of a coffee cup that they take to refill, wash in the dishwasher at home, and a re refillable water bottle. Then uh, that diverts thousands and thousands of pounds uh, per person. Tellerson seeks to inform SRJC students about what can and cannot be recycled. But above all, he believes in educating people about what they can do to reduce their waste in the first place.